Hey up and welcome back to Matt's Mindful Meals. Today I'm doing one of those simple ones where you come out and cook something simple. So I've literally just grabbed a few things out of the fridge, as you'll see later. And I'm going to try and make myself a breakfast burrito. But I'll tell you where we are. We're at a place called Findorn Bay, which is on the Murray Firth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk all around the headland and go a little bit further along the coast. And then when I've had enough, I'm going to find somewhere to stop and cook myself this breakfast burrito. Anyway, let's get there. Headland now, and you can see over in the far distance over there, there's a big seal colony, and over here, there's another one. And right now, there's one just in the water, just in front of those people there. It's magical. Well, that was cool. It's time to go and get something to eat. Almost there now. I'm absolutely starving. Right then, so we're here. I've got my kit out. I'm gonna take my hat off because it's starting to get a bit warm. Anyway, so what this is all about really is making sure that people still get out when you haven't got that much time. The ingredients I'm gonna use on these kind of meals is really, really simple. And this morning's I literally went into the fridge and did a smash and grab and got whatever was left. It's half a tin of spam, some egg. I'll show you in a minute anyway. First thing I'm gonna do is get this firebox scout lit with my Transier alcohol burner. Get a cup of coffee on the go. So I'm back with you now. So I'll show you what I've got. So you can obviously see there's a small red pepper that's gone a little bit soft. And inside my box, really small onion about a third oh a chili obviously a couple of eggs and about a third of a tin of spam however this is going to be lovely and it's dead easy so let's crack on Get the spam out the tin. I don't think I'm going to need all of that. So with this, I'm going to use my favourite outdoor chefing knife, which is the one I got from Firebox. Really sharp, and it's really handy to cook with. Now, I'm going to use a non-stick pan. So if you're using a non-stick pan, never use metal utensils with it, because I don't care what company it comes from, the non-stick will eventually come off. So, I think I'm probably going to use about half of this. I 
give the dogs that when I get home. They're gonna love me for that. So for this, I wanna cut it up into little strips. So hopefully, it'll run through everything really nicely. So I think one chop down there, one chop down there it'll be perfect right then onion can't really mess about here i haven't got that much spare time i've got to finish this walk back to where you've seen me and then still get home in time so i can go for a walk with heather when the kids are at swimming so i'm going to prove to you that yeah it can be done quite quickly Two flatbreads that were left in the bread bin. Now, as ever, take your rubbish home with you. Take them out of the pocket of the buffalo. I love this buffalo jacket because even if it's raining, you can still, it's not waterproof, but it keeps you warm as long as you keep moving. You don't want to stand around for too long in it. I think probably half of this onion is going to be fine. Yeah, that'll do too. Chop that up. Put it in the little rubbish bag. Pepper. How do you chop peppers? I always take the top off like that because I'm in a rush I'm not going to bother using the top dive my fingers inside tear everything out and I think I'll probably use half of this probably not even that just that much I think will be fine Cut it to similar size to what the spam is. I don't want to cook this through too much because it'll. I won't, don't. Want, I want it to be crunchy. I don't want it to be too soft. So the onions are going to be more or less cooked through. The spam's going to be nice and crispy. Then I'll put the peppers in, and then the eggs. I almost forgot my favourite thing. Those of you who've subscribed to my channel before, you'll know that I really do like my hot spicy food. So yeah, you never go halves on the chili. All in. So that's the best part of my preparation done. Let's see. So the preparation's done before the actual water's boiled. So that's cool. So time to chill out for a bit. Right then, soon make that coffee. But let's get this pan nice and warm. You saw me put a tiny, tiny bit of oil in. Hardly any. It's just enough to help that spam get going. While well, that's warming through. Heavy, heavy. Coffee's done. So, get the oil moving around a bit. 
I don't know if you want to set the timer on this. I'll have a look on there and it says min minute 12. Let's see how long it takes to cook this. So first thing in is the spam. and separate all the bits out. And all we're looking for is to get a bit of colour on it. You can see it's starting to change colour. It's now time to put the onions in. for the chilli and the peppers. Look at this, everything started to soften down. The colour started to come really good on the spam. Time for the eggs. Now, this is where you just mash, mash it all up. Seventeen minutes exactly. 
So that's taken four minutes to do all of that. Anyway, it's time to serve it up. I'm gonna take it off the heat now, push that out of the way. So I don't want it to keep cooking. Secret weapon for this now though, is a bit of ketchup. Oops. Tabasco. Number two. Let's slice them open and look how good they are. Quick and easy breakfast burritos. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy these. Chat to you in a bit. finished and uh, you will have seen had a little visitor halfway through that they smelt so good that they wafted across the area and there's a guy over there in a motorhome he can smell them so uh, he's taken two away one for him and one for his missus anyway so if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far please subscribe and hit that like button as well because that will get the video going through so more and more people can see it anyway take care of yourselves and keep getting outside even if it's only for a bit and I'll see you next time Draw.